more lolly gagging. It's yours now. I won't take it back. I won't. New in town, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. Only the best in all of Riften. I own Riften Fishery. Started out with a single fishing pole, and now I have an entire building and two boats to my name. Not bad for a middle-aged Nord, eh? Too bad I haven't had the same success helping this city shed its poverty. And even Nord thinks I'm wasting my time trying. But I disagree. I sell my catch across a good portion of Skyrim. It's worth its weight in gold to me. The only untapped market left is Markarth. However, I just got word that Klepper at the Silver Blood Inn might be interested. If you're headed that way, I would appreciate you delivering a purchase agreement for me. You'd be paid, of course. I could have left it here. Good. Klepper will pay you as soon as you arrive with the letter. Here you are. Yes, I suppose someone has to be around here. Have you seen the condition of this sorry excuse for a city? Beggars roam the streets, crime runs rampant, and the threat of war is driving away business. The paltry amount of coin that I place in the charity box at the temple is the least I can do to help. Nivenor is my wife. How I was ever able to meet such a gorgeous creature is one of life's mysteries. We're at odds about my charity. She thinks the people in this town have become lazy and expecting a handout. I tried to include her in my lessons from Mara Mall over at the Temple of Mara, but she prefers to shop instead. Different strokes, eh? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'd never sleep with anyone besides my good wife, Drifa. And what over? I have no idea what you're talking about. Look, it was one night, okay? I think she slipped something in my drink. I, I haven't even been back to the bunkhouse since. Just take this damn thing. I never want to see it again. Remember to give at the temple. Talk, finish those jobs for Brynjolf first. Someone there?
used to be an adventurer like you. Then Got to thinking, maybe I'm the Dragonborn, and I just don't know it yet. Dirty feet, finish this! You dirty feet! You dirty feet! Murdered the High King. We're going to have a real problem. With his voice, shouted him apart. I used to be an adventurer like you, and I took an arrow in the knee. Hola, Legagan. Don't think you can border with me like one of those damn short people. Dangerous and no place for decent folk. I've got to keep my eyes open. Damn you're dragons doing that could sneak down at any time.
Look, I got the message. What else did you want? What? How? Where did you get these? No, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Look, we need to keep this quiet between you and me, okay? No one else needs to know about it. If word got out that I'm practicing my Debellin arts in Riften, they'll run me out of town. Here, take this and don't mention a word of this to anyone, especially Svana. Just leave me in peace. Hey, don't look at me that way. Who are I'm you? I'm off to work judge at me? the Blackfriar Meadery. I'll be back there in the morning. Travel safe. What do you need? She's an absolute pleasure to work for. In fact, I almost feel guilty accepting pay from her. Why, just this last week, I was commenting to my fellow meadery workers just how lucky we are to be working for such a charitable family. Okay, look. If I'm caught saying anything bad about the meadery or the family, I'm a dead man. I'm the fourth person to work the tasting counter in the last year. The last three are at the bottom of Lake Honrik. Just take my advice and just get out of Riften as soon as you can. Lady Maven's been developing the secret recipe for Blackbriar Mead over the last several decades. She uses a very secret blend of spices, fresh honey from Golden Glow Estate, and specially constructed aging casks to ensure the best flavor. Even when you get to the last sip in your flagon, it'll taste just as good as the first. Damn it. Sorry. I'm not very good at this. Look, just don't say anything to Maven, will you? I've spent weeks trying to get that right, and if she sees how stupid I am, she'll get rid of me. Yeah. Fired. Sure. That's what I meant. Travel safe. Any luck getting the marks from those men? Oh, I know. Isn't it wonderful? I bet she squirmed like a skeever when you pulled them out of your pocket. I think things are going to be a lot different around here from now on. And I have you to thank for it. Here. I want you to have this. It was my father's, but I'm certain you'll put it to good use. Sure, leave. Not like you care anyway.
here for lessons like Ingen? Or did you wish to buy something? Well, the moisture in the air is better for the ingredients. It isn't every day that you get your hands on fresh Nern root or painted troll frat. It also makes it easier to gather water when the canal is right out the front door. Besides, I also prefer the quiet. I didn't open this business for browsing. Come in, buy what you need, and get out. Hardly. In fact, I don't know how I get anything done with all the distractions I have to put up with. My wife, half your well, she's a necessary evil, I suppose. Not a lick of talent when it comes to alchemy, but she keeps me fed. <laughs> then there's Ingen Blackbriar, bright young thing and a worthy apprentice when she isn't wasting my rare ingredients. So, you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Yes, yes, goodbye. I've got your back. How can I serve you, my Thane? I'll head back home if you need me. I am your sword and your shield. Lead the way. Still here. I am sworn to carry your burdens. You lead, I'll follow.
you have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? for lessons like well the more it all besides I also hard my wife ha then there's Ingen Blackbriar so you're interested in my potions and ingredients Yes, yes, goodbye. I'm right behind you. I am at your command. Lead on. Do you have any idea how busy I am? My mixture could be burning as we speak. This place has seen better days, but it's not my fault. I swear if I wasn't around, Elgrim would forget to eat his meals. How we make any coin at all is beyond me. In fact, I need to arrange for someone to pick up an ore sample for me in Shore Stone. Goodness knows Elgrim won't lift a finger to do it. You would. Oh, that would be wonderful. Speak to Filnyar in Shore Stone. He's got some sort of ore sample he wants us to identify and was willing to pay us well for it. I know how to mix a few basic potions, but 
I'm nowhere near as skilled as a master alchemist. I've picked up a few tricks by reading the tomes scattered all over the shop, but I don't have the knack to pull off half of the formulas. I wish Elbrim had spent more time tutoring me than that England girl. Oh no, I didn't mean it that way. Elgrim can barely put on his own shoes, let alone have the energy to pursue a young girl. He's been gushing about how talented Wyndham is at alchemy. He'd never say it to her face. That's not his way. I just think Elgrim's taken it upon himself to mentor the young thing. So he focuses a lot of attention on her. When Elgrim said we were setting up shop down here, I told him he would catch his death. The dirt, the moisture, it's disgusting. Who wants to spend their life living like a skeever? But that old bellyacre just fed me some nonsense about light ruining his mixtures and being close to the water. Ah. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Be careful. The road to Shore's stone could be dangerous. Trees. The fall forest makes me miss my childhood. Playing among the towering trees in Valleywood, living with my brother. So, job's done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. What's on your mind? We've run into a rough patch lately. But it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what. You keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me, and I'll show you what we're all about. So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Look like much to me. Welcome to the cozy little family. I'm one of the lookouts for the guild. I watch Delvin's back.
Mercer. This is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. If you break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. What we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Bull, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Grignol will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Grignol assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us when you're in. Welcome to the Thieves Guild. Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place. And they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tanelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouthed wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Aye. The last thing we want to be doing is crossing our clients. Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. But if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. Golden Glow Estate brought in a mountain of gold for the guild. You could almost call it our sweetest deal. Then out of the clear blue, Arangoth stopped sending us our cut. Mercer was, well, angry to put it kindly. So we send in Vex, and find out he's hired a bunch of mercenaries to guard the place. Aye. Arangoth sent the city guard packing and fortified the entire island. In fact, Vex barely made it out of there alive. You should talk to her about it before you go. They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather, but their one weakness is flame. Besides, nothing tells the people of Riften we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar metering which would cut into her profits. We had an arrangement with Maven. We kept an eye on Golden Glow Estate to make sure the honey kept flowing. If the workers had a dispute, we'd rough them up. If competitors tried to buy honey from Arangoth, we'd steal the shipments. In return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangoth and bring in a huge payout. Let me put it to you this way. Nothing happens in Riften without Maven's consent. One word from her, and you could spend the rest of the fourth era in prison. Well, lad, I do just as well drawing a blade across my own neck. Where did this foolish request come from? Huh. So Sibi finally got the nerve to bear his teeth, eh? Look, this sounds like a family matter, and I don't want the guild in the middle of it. You do what you want. Just don't expect us at your back when Maven has your head on the executioner's block. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. All eyes are on you, lad. 
don't disappoint us. a minute? wanted to say something. I've never seen anyone with skills like yours. I just wanted to let you know that if you need anything, you can talk to me. My father told me he found me as a young boy in the wreckage of a ship that sank off of the coast near Solitude. All he found in my pocket was a tiny smooth stone inscribed with some sort of strange rune. No one does. I've even taken the damn thing to the College of Winterhold. 
I must have spent every last coin I've made with the guild trying to find out what it means. Perhaps they could be nonsense, inane scribbles done by someone in idle boredom. But if not, if they actually mean something, they might tell me where I'm from, what ship I was on, everything. Actually, the fisherman who found me, the man I call my father, gave it to me. Thought it was fitting, I suppose. I never changed it because it never felt right to do so. I appreciate that. Be seeing you. Eyes are on you, lad. Don't disappoint us. So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Don't look like much to me. Some may call this junk. Me? I call them treasures. I don't know about the others, but I sure am glad to see a fresh face down here. The flagon used to be packed every night with the boys from the guild. But now, look at it. The last few years have been pretty bad. I've almost closed this place up. Now that you mention it, there is. I have a buyer with, uh, shall we say, a very odd taste in literature. Looking for some particular books. I'm told they're the ravings of a madman. A wizard named Arundel, and his peculiar cravings. It's said to be spread across four volumes, and very hard to come by. My client is offering quite a reward for them, which I'd uh, split with you. Then we have a deal. In his later years, Arundel moved into some ice caves known as Ingfield. He preferred the solitude in which to perform his... Uh, experiments only rumors he used to have a home in Dawnstar until they burnt it down the people say he was doing unspeakable experiments on reanimation rituals only a necromancer would perform after he made for Ingvild he was never heard from again recently a woman was found Naked and shivering along the road to Dawnstar, the only information the guard could get from her were tales of strange experiments, and Arundel scribbling in his journals. Good day. All right. 